In the vast teachings of Jesus, there are several references to Satan that often go unnoticed. While many are familiar with the general idea of Satan as the adversary, there are some specific points that shed light on this dark figure. In this video, we will explore four lesser-known insights from Jesus regarding Satan, his role, and his interactions with humanity. These teachings offer a deeper understanding of the spiritual battle between good and evil. Satan is the enemy and the evil one. In the book of Matthew, chapter 13, verse 39, Jesus refers to Satan as the enemy and the evil one. This depiction of Satan as an adversary and a source of evil underscores his malevolent nature. It serves as a reminder that Satan opposes God's presence and purposes in this world. In the parable of the weeds in Matthew chapter 13, verses 24-30, Jesus elaborates on this concept. He tells a story about a farmer who sowed good seed in his field, but an enemy planted weeds among the wheat. When the workers discovered the weeds, they asked if they should remove them. The farmer's response was to let both wheat and weeds grow together until the harvest. This parable conveys that the presence of evil is intertwined with the good in this world and that a final judgment will separate the two. Satan as the prince of this world. In John chapter 12 verse 31, Jesus describes Satan as the prince of this world. This assertion is made in the context of Jesus predicting his crucifixion and the impending judgment on the world. While Satan may exert some influence in this world, Jesus ultimately triumphs over him, providing a way of salvation for humanity. Satan's rule extends to a world that includes those separated from God, encompassing false religionists, and posing a threat to the true children of God. Jesus cautions against loving the world and its desires, as they are contrary to God's will and purpose. 1 John 2, 15, 17, Satan's Desire for Peter One of the most intriguing episodes in the Gospels involves Satan's desire to sift Peter like wheat, as foretold by Jesus in Luke chapter 22, verse 31. This episode underscores the notion that Satan seeks to test and shake the faith of believers. Jesus prayed for Peter's faith not to fail, revealing his role as an intercessor for believers when they face trials and temptations. This incident also highlights the importance of perseverance in the face of failure. Peter's threefold denial of Jesus is a temporary setback, and he ultimately repents and strengthens his faith. Failure need not be the end. It can serve as an opportunity for spiritual growth and service. Satan's Role as the Accuser Satan is often referred to as the accuser in the Bible. In Zechariah chapter 3, verse 1, we see Satan standing at the right hand of Joshua the high priest, accusing him. The devil's primary role is to charge God's people with wrongdoing and lead them away from God. In John chapter 8, verse 44, Jesus identifies Satan as the father of lies and a murderer from the beginning. This underscores the deceptive nature of Satan, who uses half-truths and falsehoods to draw people away from the truth. Understanding these lesser-known aspects of Jesus' teachings about Satan provides a more comprehensive view of the spiritual warfare between good and evil. It reminds us of the importance of faith, perseverance, and the role of Jesus as our intercessor in the face of trials and temptations. Just as Peter's faith was restored, so too can ours be strengthened and renewed through the grace of Christ.